Welcome to the Nintendo Wiretap for Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. On today's episode, we have two pretty big stories to cover. One, a new Pikmin game, one that you wouldn't quite expect, and two, more rumors about the Switch Pro that might be coming out later this year. So without further ado, let's take a look. All right, first up, we have to talk about this brand new project from Niantic and Nintendo. That's right, Niantic, the same company that makes Pokemon Go, is making a game with Nintendo surrounding Pikmin. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy to think about, but Niantic has been pretty much at the forefront of AR technology with smartphones, Pokemon Go is an absolute phenomenon, and Pikmin is kind of an interesting game to use that technology. I mean, I have no idea specifically how they plan on using it, but we get a few hints in the press release. So here's what they say. Shigeru Miyamoto said that Niantic's AR technology has made it possible for us to experience the world as if Pikmin are secretly living all around us. So it's going to be an AR game. Pikmin are probably going to be hiding. I would guess that you would need to somehow draw them out, have them follow you around. Maybe there's bosses around the world. You have to use your Pikmin to fight those bosses. I mean, there's pretty much endless possibilities with this game, and I'm pretty darn excited about it. Now, at this point, there's not an official title for this game yet, and there's not an official release date yet except for sometime later this year. So stay tuned to Nintendo Wire for more details on this. If you want to read the entire press release, look at the links in the description down below. I have a link to this article right down there. Let me know your thoughts on this, what you're hoping to see from a Pikmin AR game, and just let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. All right, coming in at number two today, we have even more rumors about a supposed Switch Pro coming later this year, once again coming from Bloomberg News. Now, keep in mind, Bloomberg says that they have an inside source that is very familiar with the situation. Bloomberg is a fairly respected and trusted source, so I would say that you could probably take this with at least some sort of confidence, so keep that in mind. Now, the last time we talked about this, we found out that Nintendo was planning on using a 720p OLED display and it would essentially output to 4k only when it's docked. Now we get a little bit more information about what we can expect specifically about this. First up, according to this leak, the Switch Pro supports something called DLSS, which is called Deep Learning Super Sampling, and if you're not sure what that is, I mean, I don't blame you, but it's really cool technology. So this is essentially a technique in a game that's rendered at a lower resolution and then upscaled via an AI process that's been trained on seeing the game running at a higher resolution. So it's really, really neat. And Nvidia has been doing amazing work with this. So to kind of make a long story short, this technology would allow Nintendo to have a game run at a significantly lower resolution and then have it up converted to 4K, which makes sense. And really, it, it sounds like it wouldn't look all that fantastic, but I've seen these demos in action and it's really impressive. And if Nvidia and Nintendo can pull this off for the Switch Pro, I think a lot of people are gonna be extremely happy. Next up, it has a better CPU with more memory, which I would expect from a Switch Pro. And the cooler thing about this is that it's supposed to be launching with a load of new games. What those games are, I have no idea. I'm guessing a lot of them are going to be third party games, but again, I could be wrong. And then the last thing we know about this is of course the price tag. Now expect this to be more than a traditional Nintendo Switch. The leaker at this point is saying that they're expecting it to be anywhere between $349 and $399. So a, not a huge step upwards, really. Still cheaper than next gen hardware. So. Either way, I'm pretty excited about what we could potentially see with this. Now, once again, this is not confirmed by Nintendo. This is still treated as a leak, but at this point, I I'm fairly confident we're going to see a Switch Pro later this year. And if I had to really guess, I would imagine it would be launching alongside Breath of the Wild 2. At least that's what I would hope. And it would hopefully take advantage of the new hardware that Nintendo is pumping out into this Switch Pro. Let me know your thoughts on this one down below. If you want to see the entire article on this one, once again, check the link in the description below. We have a link to this article and the leak down there. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up today's Nintendo Wiretap. I'll see you next time with yet another episode. But as always, until then, stay wired in. Bye, guys. Wow.